So I might be pushing the limits of the game now. Um, population, well, for most games like this, when, when you can get detailed information like this when you click on players, uh, you can tell what he's doing, uh, what he's wearing, uh, what he has in his hands. That all takes memory. And when you have, like right now, 128 people, I have capacity for 150. That's a lot of memory for the computer to uh, absorb. So I haven't noticed any leg yet. So we are pushing. Uh, you know, I'm at, uh, you know, we're in the Iron Age. This is the last age that the game has to offer at this time. And uh, I am going to push even harder. St uh, so I'm going to go for more population. Now, I haven't decided where I'm going to put that yet. I don't know, am I going to make a new vill little village here? I don't know if I'm saving that for crops. Um, don't know yet, but I'm only one knowledge point away from being able to make steel. So I remember I mentioned in another video that um, maybe they could take us to the steel age after iron. Well, apparently iron age includes steel. So um, I don't know what if they were to add another age. I don't know what that would be. Uh, techno technological age, you know, uh, maybe airplanes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. But anyway. Um, I've got a great big area. I can't imagine making a bigger area than this for your city uh, as far as um, wall building. I'm going to leave the front open near the lake, near the, uh, the river. I'm not going to put walls across here. Uh, maybe I could try expanding. The problem with expanding, like let's say I wanted to put a village, oh, I don't know, here. It would take so long for my people to get there. It would just take, oh my god, I just can't imagine how long it would take my guys to uh, to build here, other than hours. Um, so I guess my housing option is probably just to add, if I'm going to push that. And that's another way they limit your ability to, to uh, by making it so hilly, and the building area is so far and few in between, that saves on memory resources, because yeah, I can't build here. Uh, you know, maybe here. So maybe the next video I'll show starting a little village right here. Or in the meantime, too, I'm, I could uh, maybe just put some houses uh, in here. Maybe make another hearth over here and put some houses here. Uh, I mean, I do got to remember, I need to have areas for extra farms. Um, and anything else that I might need uh, I need area for I need the area for trees too I need, I need blocks, and blocks. Uh, I'm glad they put all this stone though I, I wondered when I started playing this game why is there so much stone well it's because it doesn't you can't make stone mines uh, as far as I know at least not yet all right so that's my update wondering if I'm gonna get struck by lightning because I'm covering such a big area. Another thing too is that I have to keep increasing my warehouse capacity. Um, especially now that I'm getting into the steel age, I'll be making steel uh, steel tools, and that's going to uh, require more storage space. That was close. Uh, I'm kind of planning for that. Anyway, it's a relaxing game. Uh, you watch TV while you're playing it. Oh, I made my first kern, which can hold 20 people, 20 dead people. So I could deassemble these cemeteries because they only hold three each. But it's aesthetically pleasing, so I'm just going to keep them, and I don't need that area for anything else anyway. Uh, I guess he just put a body in there. I don't know. He just went in there for a visit. Um, these are. This is also emergency storage up here. So I purposely put this up here in case I run out of storage. Because this is it's so hard to get to for my guys that this will be the last place they put stuff. So if this starts filling up, I'll know I'm in trouble. All right. Anyway, that's my update. Um, I think I think I do more housing here, or I start another village up here, and that that seems like more fun to do that. All right. We'll see. That's my update. I got brave. I got brave. This is a lot of building for my people to do, and it's going to take a long time. So this is just an update, of course, right? Uh, we're going this way. We're, we're building, and see how far we can go that way before the game crashes.
So that was my second village. Here's where I started. So I really got some stuff going on right now and no lag yet. Uh, we'll see what happens when this gets built. That's going to take a while. I mean, I can go to 8 speed for a bit just to show you. And there's a trader, but I don't care. I don't need a trader. Oh, they got a slaughter? Oh my god. Those horses got to get killed. Look at them build. Got lots of hides. 33. I don't have to worry about that. Plus, we'll get meat from those horses we're killing. Meat and hide and bone. Now, will people move in over here, though? Got a warehouse going here. Rock pile, wood pile. Uh, probably going to need a dryer here. Let's do that. Uh, production. Food dryer. Where am I going to put that? Where am I going to put that? A, well, it might be another hut here. Uh... I don't know where to put this. Right here. Close as I can. Perfect, I think. Look at that. I already got people coming. 140. Okay, back to two. Okay, there's my update. I just built uh, my third little village. Now, of course, they're not walled in. So if an attack comes from here... They're going to attack this, of course. Uh, I'm not worried about it. Alright, that's my update. To me, this is the first hint of lag. So you see this uh, area right here? I planted a bunch of chestnut trees. And you can't see them, right? But watch, I'll zoom in. Where is one? Oh, look at them all popping up. That's like, but hardly visible. Okay, that's just called rendering. And I'm okay with that. So we got a rendering problem, but that's okay. Um, I just put a totem up here. Statue. A uh, couple more wood piles around here. I just plopped a bunch of wood piles down. And uh, I'm thinking, you know what? Let's push the game. I'm thinking of going here with another village, but that'll be a while. Um, we're just going to keep making metal. Um... Yeah, making another metal mine right there. But uh, we got some population going on. There's another roundhouse here. Another roundhouse here. I'm going to have a population of 200. Uh, I think that's when the, the lag's going to really start. That's my update. Alright, so what's going on? Um, I built a... Uh, oven, uh, research oven, I got that, my resources, I mean my uh, storage, even this one's filling up, this was, remember this was my emergency storage, that means that I'm going to need more, uh, yeah, because of the iron, right, um, but they're, they're max, now this is that new area that I built, these are my chestnut trees, don't know why I'm growing them, um, Population is 133, and I can hold 155. So I'll put a few more houses here, and I'm, gonna, I'm still thinking of putting some here. But I also want to continue until we get attacked again. We're going to do another little village right here, I think. Can't see why not. Got some iron right here. So, yeah, this is going to be a nice little place for a village. We want a human being. Why not? I always start with a hearth. And where do I want it? I want it right where that rock is. So once I get rid of that rock, this will be a good spot right here. Perfect. And then we wait for that to get built. And then I build my houses around it. And probably put another storage. A granary. Huts. Drying rack. Probably another totem. Uh, and a well. Right? Same as here. 
Um, I might even do mortar. Actually, I was going to put a mortar here because if you're going to have, like this just makes uh, one grain, one, one grain, two bread, or one flour, two bread. Um, so I might as well put a mortar here. Uh, production, mortar, and can I tuck it in here? I didn't think so. Oh, thought I saw. So we'll put it over here. So I'm not going to put houses out here anyway. Sure. All right, got my people 50% busy, which is good enough. And uh, let's let this, let's let that happen. Okay, that's my update. So chestnut trees, uh, lentils, village. I've got my granary. I just got finished building here. And that's it. That's it. Not much changing. Not much changing. At least I don't notice it changing. You might. Because I do these videos interspersedly. Now, one thing I did notice that I thought was curious. There, there's almost 20 people dead in here. There's 17 people. So everybody prefers to be buried in the cairn. Cairn? And I don't see notices for people dying, but apparently there are because... Yeah, I didn't get a notice for 17 people dying. So, but anyway, that's a busy place. What, why are you guys going in there? Like, oh, a log? Does it need a log for upkeep? I don't know. Are you coming out? Maybe it's one of those places you go in and you never come out. Here it comes. What the? Are people born in there? What were you doing in there? There's a little kid in the... Where dead people are. You just don't do that. You don't put your send your kids to the cemetery. Oh, maybe. Anyway. Apparently they do. But, um... That's it. That's all I got. So next time, I'll probably have this little village started here. I haven't been attacked for a long time. I'm not worried about it. That's fun. Just relaxing game. Sit back. 